umbilical cord and breast milk ring ASMR jewelry making with Nikki Kaminga. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use one of our breast milk jewelry DIY kits to create this gorgeous ring for yourself or your client. I've used the crushed cord to create a crescent moon shape and added a subtle purple galaxy overlay. I sell most of the supplies on my website, keepsakersupplies.com, including this exclusive Ayla ring setting, the breast milk preservation powder, and the sparkle mixes. If you're new here, just click subscribe and notifications to get alerts when I post new videos. Breast milk jewelry DIY kits. Our kits contain a single silicone mold, although we're not using it in this video, a jewellery setting, in this case one of our Ayla solitaire rings, our own breast milk preservation powder, vinyl gloves, pearly breast milk sparkle mix, a dust mask, label backing paper, some sandpaper, three cocktail sticks and a 10 gram bottle of UV resin. You'll need your client's preserved, dried and ground breast milk. We have a separate video teaching you how to do this with our breast milk preservation powder. You will also need a small piece of your client's umbilical cord. We ask them to only send half, not including the clip. We also made this piece with the client's milk and umbilical cord. You'll also need a UV lamp, some UV top coat, which today I'm using in place of the resin, side cutting pliers which are perfect for cutting umbilical cord, at least one pestle and mortar, a tiny spoon, don't worry we'll sell these too on keepsakersupplies.com and a ring clamp. Grinding umbilical cord. The pliers are the easiest way to cut umbilical cord. You can use scissors instead but it's tricky because the cord is tough and sinewy. Cord stumps contain dried connective tissue and blood. Some have more connective tissue and the resulting jewellery is more beige and brown. Some have more blood and have a ruby colour, but most pieces are a combination. Cut off some of the cord stump and put the rest back in the pot for your client to return with their finished jewellery. Use the pliers to make the pieces as small as possible. You can see you only need the tiniest bit. Use the pestle and mortar to grind these pieces finely, just as you did with the breast milk powder. The more time you spend grinding, the nicer the result. Scrape it from the edges with a tiny spoon. For good measure, give your breast milk powder an extra grind in the other pestle and mortar. On keepsakersupplies.com, you'll find all the supplies I've used in this video. Filling the ring. Put your ring in the side of the ring clamp. You can also prop it up in an egg cup wrapped with cling film with a slit or propped up in white tack on a ring dish. Anything which can be easily transferred into the UV lamp and keeps it up level. On the label backing paper, put some pearly breast milk sparkle mix, a tiny drop of resin and add breast milk powder. I'm using our UV top coat today instead of resin because it's easier to work with and never leaves a sticky residue. I don't use it for every piece because it's a little pricier than our regular UV resin which comes in the kit. I wouldn't use it for a bead or a heart necklace for instance. It's no problem using the resin in the kit but I definitely recommend buying the top coat just for a finishing layer of larger pieces. Mix the powder and resin well with a cocktail stick and put a little drop in the ring so it's just about half full. Cure in the UV lamp. I've gone into more detail about this in the blog, please give it a read if you have time. Adding the cord. Take a fresh piece of label backing paper and add a drop of resin. Put the grand umbilical cord next to it. Use a toothpick to put some resin where you want the cord. In this case I'm making a crescent moon shape so I'm adding it round one edge. Put any unused cord back into the client's pot to return. You could also add dried ground placenta or cremation ashes at this point too. Swirling on a galaxy effect. Clients absolutely love a galaxy effect, so I'm adding some of the pearly breast milk sparkle mix which comes in the kits. Add a little bit of resin, then take the tiniest bit of the pearly sparkles on a toothpick. This is pearly purple and I'm adding a couple of the opalescent flakes well and gently. You'll notice it's only visible at certain angles so it's a beautiful surprise when it catches the light just so. 
we sell six different colours of the pearly breastmilk sparkle mixes, also known as ghost pigments, because they don't really contain any pigment. The photos on our website definitely don't do them justice. Cure again. Doming with top coat. I find it easiest to pick up a little bit of top coat directly from the bottle and drop it onto the piece. If you add too much, just use the side of the toothpick and roll it around in the resin to pick some up. I like it just slightly domed. If it's too high, it's more prone to being knocked. Fully cure twice. Allow the ring to cool completely again after curing, then cure again. The resin can't pop out of this ring because it's curved inwards at the top, making it perfect for direct pours or cabochon stone setting. Don't forget, I've linked to all the Keepsake Supplies blogs and the supplies you'll need down below. If you'd like to buy one of these ring kits, you can find them on my website, keepsakesupplies.com. Once again, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you know when I post new videos. Now relax and do some crafting.